What's up guys, thanks for joining us. This is Steve from Car Break NL and we are here with our six box mixer number 474. Should be a nice little break. We got six box lineup of the following boxes. Um, 1617 Upper Deck Ice hiding behind there. We have a box of Hip Parade, Gold Edition. 1415 Upper Deck Masterpieces, 1617 SPX, 1314 SP Game Used, and a blaster box of Series 2, Upper Deck Series 2. Teams already decided, I think we only had one trade. As far as I know, Keith is Nashville, Christine Winnipeg, Besser is uh, the Rangers, Dallin is Vancouver, Besser, Toronto, Joe, San Jose, Brennan, Columbus, John, Arizona, Colby, Minnesota, and Colby Beaton is Chicago, Brian, Carolina, Tony, New Jersey, Jay, Tampa Bay, LA, Colby, Dallas, Brandon, Montreal, Stephen, Stephen, Buffalo, Tim, Colorado, Besser, Boston, Verno, Ottawa, Robbie, Pittsburgh, Ken, Washington, Kyle, Philly, Michael, Detroit, Jay, St. Louis, Lee, the Islanders, Ryan, Calgary, Cody, Edmonton, Theo is Anaheim, and Chris is Florida. Here's your teams. Let's get this show on the road. Six boxes coming at you. This is the only thing we have planned for tonight, so let's make it a good one. Lots of breaks coming tomorrow, though. All right, up first, blaster box. One up. Start small, work our way up. Looking for some young guns before we, we jump into the bigger boxes. Young guns, young gun canvases, and none in the first pack, just base, just the base pack. Upper deck portrait of Nick Cousins, rookie portrait, Philly. Nick Cousins. Yeah, I was looking for the Leafs game with a black dude in my area. Awful. Probably for the best I don't watch it anyway. Get distracted. We got OPG Jordan Wheel. White OPG for LA. LA Kings. Love series two. Favorite product ever, I think. Nah, favorite product ever gotta be Chase the Greats. Who who are we kidding here? Nick Bugestad, upper deck canvas for Florida. Not a young gun, just a canvas in this one. Florida. All base there. Young gun, first one of the box, Charles Houdon, Montreal Canadiens. So yeah, don't forget, Chase the Great's coming out on Sunday. We have 50 boxes releasing on Sunday. Charles Houdon. <laughs> yeah, unfortunately, Matthews is not playing, I know. I'm telling you, ever since I made that bet, he has been literally never scored a point since I made that bet. So, the moral of the story, if you know any players in the NHL that you want them to go pointless for a while, just let me know. I'll, I'll make a bet on them. Don't go, don't go pointless. Okay, we're looking for still one more young gun here with this stuff. <clears throat> All based here. Sergey Plotnikov, Pittsburgh. So yeah, check us out on Sunday, man. Chase the Greats, 50 boxes coming out. We're putting a limit on two per person, so they're only going to allow two per person. I know some people aren't going to buy any, but... It's all good. It's uh, it is two hundred and fifty dollars a box, so they're not they're definitely not cheap. But we're gonna we're gonna save a couple boxes for for anybody who who's not able to buy a box yourself. We're gonna do a couple breaks that night with Chase the Greats in it. So we'll put away four or five boxes. The rest will be completely up for sale on that day. Uh, upper deck checklist: Anaheim and the Blues. The Ducks and the Blues. We have Perry and Senko. Let me find my dice. I think I need to name this dice. Stop calling it dice. Five. I should have went over the rules, but four, five, six would have been Senko, so it's going to St. Louis. Four, five, six. Okay, looks like the young gun, last young gun maybe here. Yeah, that McDavid collection. He's bailing, bailing shit. He's had it for a while. 
And there you go, last young gun for Vancouver. We pulled a lot of those McDavid's here, a couple, a couple of them from the cup, a couple other ones. Vancouver. And that is it for Series 2. We're moving on to something a little bit more interesting. We're going to go 13-14 SP game used. Hopefully we don't find any redemptions. There's nothing nothing here for uh, redemptions because it's all expired. But as I've been going on the last couple of videos, I've been saying that Upper Deck's becoming better at doing ex expired redemptions. So that's that's good news. They were pretty pretty awful about it for, for almost a year or two years. But they seem to be back doing their job. So even if something's expired, don't don't count it out. It's always always best to call in and give it a try. Dallas Stars, Authentic Fabrics, Kerry Lettinen, and Jamie Benn. Dallas. Dual jersey. Pack two. Authentic Fabrics, this one is a rookie, and it's numbered 6 of 64. Rookie Fabric from Minnesota. Mini. I feel like the only time Mini hits is in the newer stuff or in this year with 13-14. They were kind of disappeared there for 14, 15, 15, 16. But you've seen them, seen them pop up a little bit recently. And 13-14, uh, they had a few too. Another rookie fabric, man. Three back-to-back -back rookie fabrics. Maybe there's a big one coming. Uh, this one's a rookie fabric. Brandon Gallagher, Montreal Canadiens. Montreal is Brandon. Here we have an autograph, significant numbers of Carl Hagelin, 9 of 62. 9 of 62, a cool looking card for the New York Rangers. The New York Rangers is, every time I go looking for a team, I can never find them. The Rangers, <laughs> Besser, always a struggle. Number to 62, Carl Hagelin. We got one pack left. Last pack is a authentic fabric, man. A lot of authentic fabrics here that time. St. Louis Blue is Brian Elliott. Jersey card. Done. SP game used in the books. Let's move on to 14-15 masterpieces. Oh, and I had a rookie there for, wow, I almost went right over it. How about that? 67 of 91. Boom! For the St. Louis Blues. I literally almost went right over that like it was a base card. Vladimir Tarasenko, true rookie. Wow. That is a sleeper right there. Congrats, St. Louis. St. Louis is Jay. Of course it's Jay. Every time I look at the list to see who hit the big card, it seems to be always Jay. I wish I had my gold horn buzzer here, man. That's a huge one. Nice card, brother. That one snuck up on me big time. I literally almost took it off camera and put it aside. 67 and 91 true rookie for Senko. Very nice, man. I'm glad I caught that one. Um, bigger question is where is my goal horn? Ah, there we go. Late goal horn. <laughs> oh, man. There you go. Good stuff, Jay. Congrats, man. 67. Yeah, tell me that doesn't look like a base card real quick when you look at it. Look. You could float through that pretty quick and think it's a base card, but luckily I caught it. Good stuff going to Jay St. Louis. We're moving on to 1415 Masterpieces. Good luck. That's a huge one, man. You'd be surprised. Those true rookies, I know there's no autographs, no nothing on them, but they're they're low numbered and they do go for surprising value. I'm not sure what it's worth right off the top of my head. I will have to check it out. But true rookies from SP Game Used, uh, for big rookies like that, they do go for loot, for sure. Especially Senko. Something about rookie. Something about Senko's rookie year is just like a little, a little off since he didn't sign any of his autographs on time. It, it seems like everybody seems to collect. He's a little bit more collectible for some reason. Sid the Kid, 
<clears throat> Pittsburgh. It's pretty cool. It took him like literally like five, five, four or five years to sign his stuff. Only this year he started signing, so. Even his upper deck cup stuff got updated in this year's cup, which is cool. Evgeny Malkin, we got the red border portrait, 88 of 100 on the back. Pittsburgh. And then we have a San Jose Sharks, Joel Pavelski. Bill Ranford, favorite card of this set, I think. That haircut deserve, deserves a shadow. Bill Ranford. Here comes, that was going to be an autograph, just a jersey for the Winnipeg Jets. No number with that one. Tomorrow is a big day, release day. Rookie on the back too, Joey Hishan, Colorado. So like I said, we got four release day breaks happening tomorrow. Two, two inners and two masters, which means two five-box cases and two ten-box cases. Uh, we have two more cases on the way, so they're gonna, there's going to be more black breaks in case you missed out and you're wondering how you can get in one. There will be more, but we're not posting until the case is actually in our possession. So keep an eye out for tomorrow for sure. Toronto Maple Leafs. Insert. Pavel Datsuk. Portrait. Detroit. Yeah, a lot of people missed out. Don't feel like it was the only you, Brenny. Yeah, a few people missed it, so we are going to do another one. The cool thing about one of the ones we'll do on the next cases, uh, we're going to do a pick your team with no Toronto up for grabs. So every every team will be $15 or so more, and Toronto will be given away randomly. So you'll be able to buy your teams. Toronto won't be up for grabs. They'll be given away to somebody in the break. Phil Esposito, we got... For the Boston Bruins, a rookie autograph, Alexander Kolchekalov. Gold autograph with the black border, and that is numbered 4 of 15 on the back for Boston. 4 of 15. There's our autograph. I think we found all of our hits for this box so far. Maybe it'll surprise us with another. Hopefully. Not on that one. All base. Here comes a Miko Koivu, Minnesota Wild. Black border. Number 255 of 50 on the back. After this is SPX, Ice, and Hip Parade to end, like we always do. Johnny Goudreau, Calgary Flames, rookie. Johnny Goudreau, and then we got a trophy winner of Sid the Kid, insert. Three packs to go. Yeah, most people just count Minnesota from the start. Turn off the break call tonight. This one is for Ryan O'Reilly, Colorado Avalanche. All base, last pack.
I got a feeling we're going to see more Minnesota, too, for some reason. Tivu, rookie, Chicago Blackhawks. And then there's one more hit for us. Why not? Chicago Black, Chicago Blackhawks. Columbus Blue Jackets, Ryan Johansson. So I think we got one more hit than we were guaranteed that time. Done for Masterpieces. We're moving on to 16... Uh, let's do what? Yeah, let's do 1617 SPX. Good luck. Still strikes me as a weird product, even though it's been out for over, I guess, over a year now. Close to it, anyway. Four four packs in this stuff. One card per pack. Never gets never gets less weird. Right off the hop is a Detroit Red Wings Shadow Box Rookie of Anthony Manta. 61 of 249. 61 of 249. Detroit. Yeah, Harry's a Minnesota bandit. If you're ever in a break with Harry and you want to get rid of Minnesota, he's your guy. Number two is LA Kings Drew Doughty, just a base card. Drew Doughty. So two cards, no autos yet, no jerseys. Number three, Nashville jersey, Pekka Rene, Nashville Predators. This is SPX. It looks a little bit different from the older years because it changed, but this is 16, 17 SPX. The old stuff used to have more like eight or six or eight packs or more than that, but they changed it recently. So this is what you got now, just one, literally one pack, one card per pack. And it's not cheap, trust me. For four cards, you think it will be a little bit cheap on the cheap side, but it definitely is not. Uh, last hit. Changed a lot for sure. San Jose Sharks, Kevin LeBlanc. San Jose. All right, we're moving on to 16, 17 Upper Deck Ice, and then we got Hit Parade to end the night. Here we go. Good luck. Card coming right off the hop. With ice, you can almost you can find a jersey card right off the hop because it's so thin. Every 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 box got a jersey card like this. Sonny Milano, fresh threads. That's that's closing in on two hundred dollars a box, man. For those SPX, isn't that hard to believe? It's not a product you would buy. I, I feel I feel it's not a product you would buy yourself. It's more of a group break product, unfortunately. Pretty bad you got to say that, but it's true. It's uh, it's not a product you would buy yourself. Four cards. I mean, you know, it's not just it's just not good. It's definitely not a popular product to be snatching up. We have wow. Oh, Mark Jankowski, twelve ninety nine. I was gonna say for the Calgary Flames. It scared me for a second. Eleven forty four, twelve ninety nine. The Flames. Ice. Thought it was Kachuk for a second. Pack three. Florida Panthers. Dennis Melgan. Also twelve ninety nine. I get a feeling they're going to change SPX back back this year, or they're going to get rid of it altogether. That's my guess because there was nothing wrong with SPX before. I mean, it wasn't. It wasn't advertised as high end. It was just a normal product. You know, it was just a normal price product. But they changed it. They had to go and redo it. But I think they'll change it back this year just because they had so much backlash over it. No, I don't think anybody really enjoyed the SPX when they changed it. Henrik Zetterberg, Sub Zero for Detroit. Even looking at his face that time, I thought it was Kachuk for a second. And then I saw the M at the first. Oh well. Two packs left, and then we got the one box, one card hit parade. 623, 699, the old die cut world junior John Quinville going to New Jersey. 699. Some of these are numbered to 699, I believe. Some are numbered to 499. They might even go less. 
And last but not least, not the best box that you see either. What do we got? And there you go. Boom! Matthew Kachuk, number to 25 for Calgary. Nice one. That is number 20 of 25 for Matthew Kachuk. Some of these ice cards, the surface of them are pretty bad, but this one's looking pretty nice. Some of, some of the ice cards come straight out of the pack, and they even come scratched up on the surface, but this one's looking pretty good. Matthew Kachuk, so we uh, teased him a little bit. He waited. Mark Jankowski was just a little, a little pre-show to Kachuk. Last but not least, folks, last box. Let's get you off the hit list. I know we got a couple first-time breakers with us here. So fingers crossed. Hopefully we get you off the hit list. Sometimes it's hit or miss, but I do appreciate your support, all of your support. Here we go, guys. Last box of the night. Hit parade. <laughs> Let's check it. Let's check it. And there it is. Sign of the times. Bobby Orr. Boston Bruins, Bobby Orr to end it. So there you go. The funniest way to always end hit parade seems like Bobby Orr comes out more, more so than anybody, which he probably does. But that's it. One hit, hit parade. Hope you enjoyed it. Four, uh, six box mixer number 474 in the book. So all mail has already been sent out to you guys. Uh, any mail from tonight, tomorrow, release day, it all goes out Friday morning, okay? So anything that you see here or in the next couple days you want to get tracked, feel free to let me know so we can get that, okay? Uh, don't forget, go big or go home. Thanks, guys. Peace.